Terry, we were talking about nickel and how incredibly hot nickel is in the market right now, and especially in critical minerals. Give us an update. Yeah, you know what? I, I think that, you know, as the world moves towards EVs, I, I was reading yesterday, they were, they're up like 45% year over year. I mean, that's uh, just crazy, insane growth. Uh, and of course, that's impacting all the, all the critical minerals that go into these uh, EV batteries. So there's two major drivers to the nickel industry, urbanization and electrification. So urbanization is uh, people moving from villages into cities and towns that are buying pots and pans, fridges and stoves, that's stainless steel, 6% compound annual growth rate, that's 70% of the nickel market, so that's pretty mammoth. And then uh, obviously electrification is the next one. So electrification is about 10% of the nickel market today, expected to be up to 50% uh, within uh, by 2030. I don't know how that can possibly get there, given it's not that easy to find the stuff. But growth is certainly, uh, you know, pretty uh, pre- advancing and super strong at the moment. So, usually, I would ask you about your drilling results, which, based on our coverage, seem to be outstanding. But let's talk about location, because in critical minerals right now, many people out there may not appreciate the benefit and the advantage you have of being based in Quebec. Yeah, Quebec is, is unbelievable. You know, it's basically uh, two for one exploration and now half price mine belt. So, I mean, that, that sounds cheeky to say that, but let's d- dig a little deeper. So what do I mean by two for one exploration? Well, we just did a, a fundraising. Uh, stock was around 28 cents when we announced it. We raised the money at 50 cents with a half one at 50. So um, how was that possible? Well, what, what the tax incentives in Quebec provide significant tax credits and tax deductions to the Quebec-based investors. So they they bought for 50 cents and they sold the next second to our end-use investors for 25 cents. So what was the net benefit for them? Well, they ended up basically reducing their taxes from 54% to 42. So they're a win and they're out. And our investors put in 25 cents and had the company get 50. So they're getting, they put $1 in and $2 go to work. So that's obviously fantastic from an investment perspective. So that is all for exploration. So that, that gives us basically a, a two for one exploration. That's what I say, you know, Quebec, Quebec allows. Uh, so that's just on exploration. And then in the last budget, both in Quebec and federally, uh, about 30 days ago, uh, they announced tax credits to build and equip mines, 30% from the federal budget, uh, from the federal government of Canada, and up to 25% for Quebec. So all of a sudden, you know, if we were to spend $400 million on a nickel mine to build advanced stage battery metal products like powders, nickel wire, anodes, and it costs four hundred million dollars. Up to two hundred million or more of that could come from our, our government, uh, you know, as a direct uh, sort of tax credit, which turns into cash. So these are you know spectacular numbers not seen anywhere else in the world. So if you're blessed enough to be in Quebec, it's something you can take advantage of, and it's a it's something investors have. I think because of the regional banking crisis, they never really uh, captured that thought, and they've missed uh, missed it. And there's a there's uh, no joke nickels on the on the uh, carpet that they can be picking up right now, including power nickel. So we have nickel. We have the spectacular numbers being offered and extended by the Quebec government for incentive for both investors and companies in general. And then drilling, several drilling results in the last month and a half. I don't even know where to begin. How about the most recent uh, NISC project? drilling results, if you can just go over the highlights. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, we, we, we stepped out a full five kilometers from our, our existing, um, uh, you know, deposit that we've been drilling most of the winter. And we drilled a wildcat target at the end of uh, sort of a, this ultramafic sequence that we were working on. And we hit uh, almost uh, eight meters of uh, one ounce PGM, so platinum and palladium and gold. So uh, spectacular bonanza, you know, style results, including, you know, 1.75 meters of almost four ounce material. I mean, this is like, you know, when we got the results, we couldn't believe it. We had to check them in twice and it was really, uh, you know, something to sort of see. So that that's exciting in a number of different ways. One, obviously, that it happened five kilometers away from our existing port deposit is highly indicative of, of the potential in between there. And, and that this is obviously a lot of ground. This could be a very big discovery. When, when you get numbers like that, it harkens back to initial discovery days for Norilsk and, and Boise's Bay. So that's those are like legendary uh, discoveries in the, in the nickel and mining world. And I mean, uh, you know, I'm not saying we're going to be those guys, but that's what it makes you think of. 
and it's certainly possible. So we we sort of see us as having a proved that we're going to be commercial right now, we, yet we have massive upside beyond that, and uh, we're trading for you know one fifth to one twentieth of our peers, and they're all down by fifty percent. So this is a a screaming buy if you uh, believe in any future for nickel. So in addition to the discovery at the of the wildcat area. Um, what should we anticipate as shareholders in the next quarter or two? More of the same, really. We're, we're, we're basically got uh, more drilling results coming next week and in about four weeks from that. And uh, and then we'll be deploying. Uh, we've done a lot of work on the exploration setup for the next round. So we've, we've just done an airborne EM, which uh, uh, EM is a, an effective uh, tool for discovering massive sulfides because it's basically EMs pick up magnetic uh, signatures. So, you know, if you get a magnetic signature, uh, that's very positive for us. So we, we've done that and it looks like we've got a number of those to follow up on. And then we'll be deploying our ambient noise tomography, which is quite new technology on, uh, and we think spectacular um, to help us find the nickel quicker. So that will be launched in June and we'll start drilling again in mid-July and we're fully funded. So it's going to be an action-packed uh, next uh, few months for Power Nickel. For those of you interested in more information on Power Nickel, please go to their website. And Terry, as always, it's a real pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Cheers.